Hello everyone, I am Mochana Gogol, a student of 4th year BVSC and age, Lakhimpur College of Veterinary Science and today I am here to present a presentation on the topic Traumatic Reticuloperitonitis in Cattle. This presentation is prepared by a UG student of Lakhimpur College of Veterinary Science, AAU Joy Hing, Assam, India. Therefore, the information collected by us may not corroborate with findings of the deep research work carried out in the respective field. However, utmost care has been taken by each of us students to provide correct information. No information of this presentation should be considered for scientific work without cross-verifying the information. It has been prepared only for educational purpose and not for any commercial purpose. Further, the information in the presentation should not be used for the treatment without consulting a registered practitioner. Coming on to introduction of this disease. The synonyms of this disease or this disease is also known as hardware disease, traumatic gastritis, Traumatic reticulitis, traumatic reticulopericarditis. The RP occurs when animals ingest foreign objects like nails, pieces of wire, and other non metallic materials that injure the reticular wall. Sharp objects that can puncture the reticulum, they allow ingesta and bacteria from the reticulum to leak into the peritoneal cavity which may result in peritonitis, which often leads to adhesions in the abdomen in chronic cases. Clin some clinical signs include rumenoreticular atony, decreased milk production in lactating animals, and signs of abdominal pain. Treatment can be either medical or surgical. If medical, rumen magnet and antimicrobial therapy can be used, and if surgical, Foreign body removal via rumenotomy can be done. Coming on to the etiology of this disease. Etiology of TRP is nothing but the ingestion of some foreign body to feed or while grazing pasture. Ingested wires can come from cut wires used to weigh down tarps covering silage. And other metallic fragments may come from components of mixer wagons, aluminum and other non-magnetic foreign bodies are uncommon but sometimes may also be the cause of a TRP. Swallowed metallic objects such as nails or piece of wire fall directly into the reticulum and can penetrate or perforate its wall and cause traumatic reticuloperitonitis. Contractions of the reticulum promote penetration of the wall by the foreign object. Perforation of the wall of the reticulum allows leakage of ingesta and bacteria, which contaminates the peritoneal cavity. Less commonly, more severe diffuse peritonitis, pleuritis, pericarditis, hepatic or splenic abscess develops. These are some of the foreign bodies found in a cow. Epidemiology. Most cattle, adult cattle are susceptible which have a fastidious habit of eating roughage. Advanced pregnancy may also predispose an animal to this disease. Coming on to the pathogenesis of the disease, following the ingestion of the penetrating object, they are lodged in the reticulum due to honeycomb-like structure of it. Here we can see that I have given a reference picture of the reticulum of a cow which is honeycomb which is of honeycomb structure the foreign body then may pass toward thoracic cavity which may cause damage to lungs and heart it can also take a different course to damage the liver and spleen in the abdominal cavity the clinical science may commence sometimes even after two years of penetration. Coming on to the clinical findings of TRP, there will be recurrent tympani, 
sudden anorexia, abducted elbows, marked drop in milk yield, subacute abdominal pain, reluctant to move or slow walking particularly downhill is often accompanied by grunting in the sick animals. Then there will be brisket edema, tremor of the triceps and abduction of elbow may be seen. There is bilateral jugular extension which is very important for diagnosis of the disease. For sudden movements as well as defecating, urinating, lying down and getting up may be accompanied by bruxism and groaning. Grunting can often be induced for diagnostic purposes by offering feed, by leading the animal downhill or by conducting one of the foreign body tests, example back grip, percussion of the reticulum with a mallet or pole test. Chronically, the feed intake and fecal output are reduced and milk production also remain reduced. As the acute inflammation subsides, there is less abdominal pain and temperature become normal. Some may develop vagal indigestion due to adhesion on ventromedial reticulum. These are some of the pictures that I have shown of the clinical findings. This is the distended jugular vein. This is brisket edema. Then there is the arc back condition and there is abducted elbow condition. Now, if the heart or lung are involved, there is depression, tachycardia may occur and pyrexia in both pleuritis or pericarditis is seen. Pleuritis is often seen and is manifested by fast, shallow respiration. Muffled lung sounds may be heard and pleuritic friction rubs can be felt. Thoracocentesis gives several liters of septic fluid. Traumatic pericarditis have muffled heart sounds. Pericardial friction rubs or gas and fluid splashing sounds, which is also known as washing machine murmur, can be heard on auscultation at initial episodes. Jugular vein distension and congestive heart failure with marked submandibular and brisket edema is a frequent sequelae of traumatic reticulopericarditis with grave prognosis. Penetration through the pericardium into the myocardium lead to extensive hemorrhage into the pericardial sac or ventricular arrhythmias, arrhythmias and sudden death may also accompany. Coming on to the diagnosis of TRP, diagnosis can be done with the help of history when it is available and clinical findings. Laboratory tests may be done which may indicate neutrophilia with a left shift and an increase in plasma fibrinogen. They, have, they may have marked hypokalemia, hyperchloremic metabolic alkalosis. On peritoneal fluid analysis, there may be D-dimer and the neutrophil percentage may be analyzed for peritonitis. Then a magnetic compass can also be used for the detection of the disease. Ultrasonography using a 3 MHz transducer is the most accurate way to diagnose localized peritonitis near the reticulum at the ventral abdomen and characterize the reticular contraction frequency. Lateral radiographs of the cranioventral abdomen can detect metallic material in the reticulum. Electronic metal detector can also be used for the diagnosis of TRP. Here are some diagnostic tests. First we have is Withers test. When we pinch the cow's wither and we observe the reaction, then in a healthy cow, the nudge or pinch makes the cow move forward. But in a sick cow with TRP, they stay still but show pain or downward movement. Then we have grunt test. 
in this we apply upward pressure to sternal region and in a healthy cow there is no reaction on doing this and in a sick cow with TRP it grunts and it kicks this grunt test is also known as pole test here is also a image reference of withers test the treatment of this disease it can be either surgical or medical medical treatment involves use of antimicrobials to control the peritonitis and a magnet to prevent recurrence because of the mixed bacterial flora in the lesion a broad spectrum antimicrobial agent such as oxytetracycline 16 mg per kg per day ivily should be used penicillin 22000 iu per kg im once to twice daily is widely used and is very effective in many cases despite its limited spectrum if surgical methods are adopted ruminotomy with manual removal of objects followed by antimicrobials perioperatively coming on to the prevention of trp we always know prevention is better than cure so let us see what are the preventions of trp avoiding the use of boiling wire passing feed over magnets to remove met remove metallic objects keeping cattle away from sites of new construction and completely removing old buildings and fences additionally bar magnets may be administered preferably after fasting for 18 to 24 hours usually the magnets remains in the reticulum and holds any ferromagnetic objects on its surface to minimize the incidence of trp giving magnets to all herd replacement heifers and bulls at one year of age are recommended thank you for your patience listening